Hi Red Group, Miss Carson here and I miss you guys very, very much. So in this video, we're going to be going over just a few things we talked about when we were all still together at school because Miss Carson has a little challenge that you guys are going to be doing this week. So we've been practicing very hard remembering which letters are our uppercase letters and which, which letters are the lowercase letters. Remember, uppercase letters are the big, tall letters. And your lowercase letters are those small letters. And before we ended up having to do our work at home, we were talking a lot about how we use lowercase letters most of the time. Now there are some special cases where you do need those big tall letters, like the beginning of names and places, and the first letter of the first word in a sentence. But for this challenge that Miss Carson's gonna have you do, I really want you working on those lowercase letters, those small letters. Now, some of our lowercase letters, like the letter C, are the same shape as those uppercase letters, but they're not as tall. But sometimes those lowercase letters are different shapes. Like look at uppercase E compared to lowercase E. So I really want to see how many of those lowercase letters you guys can remember. I also want you to look at the lines on Ms. Carson's example board right here, you have the red line for the top, and then down below that, you have the blue line for the bottom. Now, remember, your letters should not touch that red line, especially not those lowercase letters. Your lowercase letters are short, so they don't come up to this line, but you need to make those letters sit on that bottom line. And on your paper, those lines are there for a guide to help you to know where to keep those letters. So all of those letters are next to each other and they're going in a nice line. Now, in your folder, you have a piece of paper that looks similar to this one. It doesn't have the letters of the alphabet on it, but it has the same kinds of lines. And what you're going to be doing with that paper, you're going to be looking at a list that Ms. Carson has put in your folder of words. Now, some of you guys might be able to sound out some of these words, but if not, that's okay. You're gonna look at those list of words and then your mom or dad or somebody in your family is gonna set a timer for you. Now, when they say start, you're gonna look at that list and you're gonna try to write as many of those words on your paper. If you don't get all of them done, that's okay. I just wanna see how many words you can write in three minutes, just three minutes, so it's not gonna be a long challenge. Now, make sure you're staying in those lines, make sure you're using those lowercase letters, and I want you to take your time with those letters too. Remember, we practiced that the slower you write, the nicer those letters will look. So I can't wait to see what you guys get to, or how much you guys are gonna be able to write. I'm so excited to see how much you guys have learned. I'm very, very sad that we can't be in the classroom together, but I know you guys are gonna remember all of the things that we've been practicing and that you've been practicing while you're at home too. So good luck on your challenge.